I'm Rosalind Chow. I've been the coach. The women's program started in 2015, 2016, and I've been the coach uh, that entire time. Uh, the men's head coach is Colton Cariaga. I'll put his contact information in the chat as well. So um, first and foremost, uh, we are a varsity program under athletics. Uh, both our men's and women's teams play at the highest level in Division 1A. Uh, the women's division used to be called D1 Elite, but we are now uh, the same name as the men, uh, Division 1A. Uh, just some background, the men have won five national championships in 15s and one in sevens. Uh, the women have won one national championship in seven and two collegiate rugby championships, the CRCs. Um, and obviously we've seen a number of New Jersey teams there. Um, and we've been runner up in 15s the past two years in a row. We didn't get a chance during COVID, um, obviously, for that season. Um, being varsity, we do offer scholarships. I'm going to talk about that at the end, and I'm happy to take questions about that as well. I'm going to go over four things, fit, uh, program and culture, our high performance environment, and what makes us unique. So first and foremost, for anyone looking at college is really, is that the right fit? Do they have the right academic program? Um, we are a very, very specific type of school. So if you're looking to be an engineer or you want to be uh, a school teacher, we don't have an education program or we don't have a theater program. So I'm gonna share my screen and uh, if I can get uh, permission to do that, I will show you our, um, our programs. And while I get permission to do that, I can start at least reading some of them for our bachelor's degree. Sorry about that. Go ahead. You should be ready oh, to go. Coach. That, that's you. my fault. All good. All good. So um, as you see here, uh, we offer biology, biopsychology, business, computer information management, a culinary degree, dietetics, exercise science, health coaching, human ecology, interdisciplinary studies, nutrition, psychology, positive human development in terms of bachelor's degrees. We also have master's in sports health science, clinical nutrition, a very unique positive psychology program that um, is only offered in uh, UPenn, Cal, and us. And uh, in that there's a general positive psychology track, a coaching track. And we are, world famous for our chiropractic program, but that is not the only thing we, we have, but do consider us the, the Harvard of chiropractic. Um, additionally, we have 23 athletic teams, but what you may notice is we don't have a football team. Uh, it's rugby that has built this school, so that's largely unique. And with that, we do have some examples of our student athletes doing really well um, and what they've done with their degrees. And so Tyler was a rugby player, got a business degree, works for Amazon. Matthew, a business degree, is a product manager and does cybersecurity, you know, for example. So um, Nadine was a wrestler and she's uh, a nurse and she's in the surgical care unit at the University of Florida uh, Health in, in Jacksonville. So just an example where not one of them are chiropractors that I listed because we want to stress that you can get degrees in other things at life. Now, um, with that, uh, I want to stress our program and culture. As I mentioned, we don't have a, a football team. So our two dedicated fields, they're rugby fields. It's rugby turf. It's extra shock pad, extra filling. The terms on the scoreboard are rugby terms. Like that's what we are. We live and breathe rugby at life. Um, so I'm gonna play a video of, someone sounded excited about that. Um, a little video of our culture. So I will also put a link to this. Um, let me just open the tab. I'll put a link to this in the chat because there was a whole docu documentary series about us um, it, around CRC uh, a few years ago. And it, it, this episode, there were six episodes. This episode is about our culture.
To me, rugby is um, a better lifestyle from being uh, being better physically, mentally, um, nutrition-wise, a better student, a better person. Well, to me, rugby is family. I mean, these are my best friends. These are the people I care about. Dan Payne, I'm uh, the former athletic director at Life University, former rugby coach at Life University, is probably one of my uh, most proud titles that I've ever held, but, uh, and I'm currently the CEO at USA Rugby. I watched the program continue to grow because of the culture that's there, and the, con the, the, the goal of just constant improvement, never being satisfied with, with where you're at, be it in your sport or as a person, uh, you know, there's a really strong culture of selflessness and, and teamwork there that's imperative to any organization having success. So I think if you, if you have that goal of constant improvement, which everyone there would share, uh, you're never content. You're never happy because we can all be better people. We can all be better athletes. We can all, you know, do things um, and always challenge ourselves to, to get better. Uh, rugby at Life University is more than just rugby itself. It's it's about the academics as well, and we're we're all here to get a degree. With rugby, it's just a community to help you get through it. So everybody's there working together, studying things like that to get through it. And it's Carson McCraw. I'm a junior, I'm an exercise science major. Uh, it's it is a full-time job basically. So, but we are students first. So uh, coaches really hone in on that, student athlete, student first. So balancing that, it's kind of difficult uh, to manage your time wisely, but it's just something that you have to do. Rugby is just a different culture and we love it. So that's why everybody plays and everybody falls in love with it, I think. Dedication, hard work, integrity. It's an honor, responsibility to like wear that jersey and represent Life University being a D1 Elite program. You have to earn it. Coach Rosin just invite anyone here. We're hand selected. She goes and she recruits you because she sees something in you. Not only to grow you as a player, but she grows you as a person. Me personally coming in here, she's definitely helped me grow into the woman I'm going to be when I graduate. And it's definitely an honorable experience to be able to handle that and come to Life U and play. Whitney, you're the A. Get out. We're over for three. We're getting better. What is the one thing we want to do? I'm Nicole Strasco and I played for Life University from 2013 to 2016 and now I play for the USA national team, the Falcons and the Eagles. To, Coach Roz has um, always instilled to me to be the freak, meaning to always be the one, the outlier, doing something extra, eating well, running extra, um, doing the little things in order to make the big things happen. Life Rugby. Uh, we're all about serving, uh, honesty, you know. Hi, I'm Cindy Kelly, and this, today's Mark the Victor King Navy. The women's rugby team is here for service. Where you got Valentine's for veterans, and in here you can make sandwiches. Well, they're way better. I think of passion and love. I think of passion and love. It's, it's really that simple. I think there's so many passionate people there that love the game, that love each other, that love the opportunity the university presents. Um, you know, and good things come come about of it. So you know, I think it's it's, uh, it's that would be two simple words. Thank God for record. Here we go. Community on three. One, two, three. Community. Community. To highlight, you know, we, we do a lot of work on and off the field uh, about what what kind of person you become. Um, and I'll talk a little bit next about our high, our high performance environment. It's funny to go back and watch these videos because so many of people have become All-Americans, um, play for USA, 
um, and, or play pro rugby or women's premier league rugby. So uh, the number of all Americans, I really couldn't give you a number right now. Um, the men's team started, the collegiate men's team started in 2010. So they're older than the women's team. Um, in terms of USA Eagles in the 2019 men's world cup, there were four life players alone, Sean Davies, Dylan Fawcett, AJ McGinty and Cam Dolan. Um, for the women's side for the November tour, um, uh, Darian Lovelace, Caitlin Broughton and Megan Rom and Captain who you saw in the video who two are on the World Cup perform performance squad coming up for the Women's World Cup. And that's Nicole Strasco and Junior Sahir Hamden right now. Uh, in the sevens makeup, uh, we have Spiff Cedric who is on the women's side for sevens and Cody Melfi and Harley Harley uh, Wheeler, we've had multiple Harleys on, on the men's team. So Harley Wheeler, um, who plays sevens. Um, and additionally, we've counted uh, around 25 of our men are in the major league rugby setup in the United States, 25. I'm not sure, I haven't counted every school, but I would two. venture to say we probably have the highest count of how many are in the major league rugby uh, league and, and coaches. We have uh, coaches that coach major league rugby that came from life. For the women, we have uh, at least 17 that play women's premier league. Um, and again, I would venture to say this last season that they had in 2019, that they probably had the most in the women's premier league uh, playing. And coaches that uh, coach for, in college, one of our guys coaches at Dartmouth. Um, uh, one of our guys is a head coach at Adrian College, uh, a, a life alum and former coach. Sorry, that's my dog. Uh, coaches Saint, is a head coach at St. Bonaventures, uh, a former assistant coach of mine and a grad assistant. Cashew, sorry. Uh, at coaches at Alderson Rodas. Um, and so our, our expanse in U.S. rugby is vast. And I know I named a bunch of Eagles. Well, uh, we just had uh, one of my players just got capped for Spain this this weekend uh, at Madrid Sevens, uh, and she was our Sevens captain. So when we're talking high performance, that's the kind of teammates you'll have. Um, again, we're in the top competition, and I will say we don't get to play the Naira teams head to head in 15s. Uh, I wish we did; that would be great. Um, and so the NCAA varsity teams, but we do get to play against each other in sevens. And I just wanna stress for our league, our D1A women, that we've won the sevens national championship. One of our teams from D1A women, D1 elite, D1A women have won sevens national since 2015 with the Naira teams competing against us. And additionally, we've won the CRC since 2015. When we play against Naira teams, Dartmouth, Harvard, Army, uh, Quinnipiac. Actually, they don't do sevens against, uh, they don't play sevens um, in the spring in these competitions. But, uh, AIC. Um, so I just want to stress when we're matched head to head, when we say we're high performance, we, we have proof in the pudding when we play head to head against those teams. Unfortunately, we, we, we don't play 15s against each other, so we can't say. Um, Additionally, it's not just the high performance, it's the folks that get to be in that environment. Maybe they won't be an All-American because there's just gonna be a handful every year, but they get to have that experience of growing and developing and reaching their aspirations, however much work they wanna put into it and being in that high performance environment, training every day, strength and conditioning three days a week. We're also not capped with number of competitions. So like Naira, the NCAA teams only get 16 competi competition days a year, 15s and sevens total. Uh, and so a sevens tournament takes two days. Um, we're not capped. And um, women's high performance manager, Emily Bidewell calls us like an academy. And no wonder Life, Lindenwood, Penn State, are and Central are getting all these selections at the highest level. We play more games. Uh, well, Central Washington's NCAA, so they're capped by games too, but we play over 2015's games in a regular year, not COVID. Uh, you may have noticed we started playing already, um, but we play over 2015's games in a year. 
and the number of sevens we play. So the more rugby you play, the better you get, you get at rugby, period. Um, and so I'm gonna share one other last thing and then I'll, I'll start wrapping it up is again, you don't have to be um, you know, an all American uh oh is this what i wanted to show i want to show talib this is talib so just a great solid rugby player his whole time there at life and he got his degree in biology and he got to work at really amazing aquariums and now he gets to he is a aquatic animal trainer at six flags right so in terms of he got the best of both worlds and playing on a d1a top level team having teammates from all over the world and then living his dream here. So as I wrap it up, I'll cover the unique stuff and a little bit about how our scholarships work because I know that's a big question. Um, so we are uniquely affordable. We're a private institution. I didn't mention where we are. We're outside of Atlanta in, in Georgia. Um, so we're about, we're a suburb in the North west of uh, the metro area of Atlanta, about 20, 25 minutes from Atlanta. You got to see some of the pictures of the campus on, in the video. As a private institution, our, we're affordable in that we don't charge out of state, in state, it's not different. Our tuition's about $12,000 a year before any scholarship offer for rugby. Um, additionally unique, that's not offered anywhere at any other place is that we will pay scholarship your entire five years of eligibility, because we have five years of eligibility here, and into graduate school. Uh, because we both have club teams affiliated after our college team. So our men's club, they've won a number of championships. They're also very well known. The life club men were before all the college teams. Um, and so men can continue to play for them. So we actually have a lot, like Harley Davidson came back to be a chiropractor. Duncan Van Skalkwick is in chiropractic school and his brother Zander Van Skalkwick, they're all pro players, but they're also getting their chiropractic degree and getting scholarships. I have a player, um, Taylor Van Hoosier. She has been getting scholarship for seven years and she gets a raise every year if her grades are good. That's the main metric that you're doing well academically and you're progressing academically. She's going on her eighth year because she's finished her chiropractic degree and she's going to get a master's. So she's going to get scholarship for eight years. I have some that are going to go nine or 10 years because they did four years undergrad and it's five or six years for chiropractic to, if they're playing rugby for some of it. So that's not offered anywhere else in the United States, period. Um, and the fact that we're uniquely, uniquely affordable. Um, so... Uh, half of our undergraduates, we have a thousand undergraduates and over half of them are athletes. So it's just um, a high performance environment where you're living in the dorm with wrestlers who uh, our men just won their conference and the women just came in second in their conference. Uh, so you're surrounded by all these high performance athletes um, and, uh, you know, collectively having this experience on this very unique uh, school here outside of Atlanta. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll put my contact information and some links in the chat. Great. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate that. I, I have one to start off and anybody else who has a question, please yeah, put it in the chat now um, or you know, just let me know and, and or we can follow up with Coach later on. But um, just to, to kick us off, I know you had mentioned that it's obviously a varsity program at life, so that probably comes, you know, with a varsity level of commitment to the sport. Can you talk a little bit about kind of what a standard training schedule might look like in a fall season and then maybe in the off season as well, uh, just so people can get a sense? Um, so we train every day, Monday through Friday, 11 to 1. And there's a, uh, it's a good break in, in the classes typically then. Um, in, in the fall, pre-COVID, we were training. Uh, we had strength and conditioning Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. For one hour, you're in a time block, uh, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., or 8 a.m. And then they would go to class from there, from 8 to 10, um, uh, eight, or if they're 8 to 11, if they're back-to-back -back classes, and then come to training 11 to 1. Uh, and then after that, they'd have the rest of the day. We've moved to the afternoon for strength and conditioning. 
Um, so they're in a time slot of either two, three or four o'clock. Cashew, sorry. Um, and uh, um, games on the weekend. Um, so Mondays are typically lighter if we played. So we, we just had a double header against Lindenwood. So they did yoga Monday, um, but they still had strength and conditioning after. Um, Tuesday, we got back into the grind. Wednesday, we're gonna do, uh, half of it's gonna be film review and a meeting to review how we did. Um, and then it's skills and units. So it's a little bit, Wednesdays are a little bit lighter. Thursday, we always scrimmage. So it gives everybody a chance on the roster to compete. Um, Cause we don't train separately, even though there's 48 on the roster. Uh, we train all together, we compete all together and there's fluidity between varsity and JV. Friday, if we don't have a game, it would be a regular um, intensity training. Uh, but if, if it's game day, Saturday, then we'll have a lighter walkthrough. Um, obviously we travel, all that's taken care of as a varsity program. Um, with that travel, just depending how far it is, we'd either fly or we'd take a bus. Um, so all that's excused, you know, academically. Um, uh, and certainly we've had players that had to be gone for weeks at a time on tour for the US. And again, we work with professors uh, pretty regularly to manage those kind of things. So that's what a week is and it's intense. You have a training room. So we have an athletic trainer full-time. We have chiropractic access, of course we do, uh, every day of the week. Um, when we're on the road, we either go to an alumni chiropractor, take one with us, and at home, every home game, we have a chiropractor. So that is something, again, that is not offered everywhere.